Welcome back to Movie to Blender. So as you might have noticed, I've completely missed out on reviewing any of the movies I had originally scheduled for the month of September. And to that I say, hey, stuff comes up, people get busy, and I fell way behind. But to make up for it, here's my rapid fire review of the September film releases. Riddick. Now, I've always been a fan of the character of Riddick since his introduction in Pitch Black, and for the most part, I even liked the campiness of Chronicles of Riddick, but I really lost interest in the character while watching this flick. The Necromonger plot from the previous movie is dropped in the first 10 minutes of the film and doesn't factor in for the rest of the runtime, and when you focus on Riddick himself, you find that he's actually kind of boring. He's just a brooding anti-hero with nothing to do. And spending so much time with him from his perspective strips away his danger and mystery. Then, when the mercenaries finally show up, nothing is accomplished until the last 30 minutes of the movie. The Riddick character suffers from overexposure and rehashing the same plot that started off the franchise. Insidious Chapter 2 Insidious was a great horror movie with a creative premise and good direction. Unfortunately, the same cannot be said about its lackluster sequel. So much of the original Insidious was building atmosphere and character, but Chapter 2 attempts to springboard off the high tension of the first without adding any tension of its own. Everyone knows exactly what's going on and are already working to resolve the matter, so the rest of the film is just waiting for the inevitable conclusion. It was uncalled for, unnecessary, and director James Wayne's time would have been better spent working on another original concept horror movie. There's someone standing in front of you. He's talking to you. What's he saying? He's got your baby. 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 Prisoners. I'll say it, I'm a Hugh Jackman fan. But why wouldn't I be? He's a great actor that can balance his imposing physical presence with a genuinely charming personality. And I love it when he's going to film where his diverse acting talent can shine. And it is not wasted in Prisoners. September has been notorious for having weak film releases, so Prisoners surprised everyone with its thrilling mystery and fantastic casting. Not since Girl with the Dragon Tattoo has there been such a well put together suspenseful flick. It's dark, bleak, depressing, and it draws you in completely. I would recommend it for anyone that can enjoy films as the emotional roller coaster they can be. He's wondering why I'm not there. Me, not you, not you, but me! Don John. Uh, so, I didn't actually see Don John. I was kind of busy uh, making this video. But hey, it's Joseph Gordon-Levitt in an unconventional romantic comedy. And if it's anything like 500 Days of Summer, I think we'll be in good hands. Here's hoping that I'll be back on track for the October film releases. But in the meantime, I'll still be posting plenty of comics, videos, and articles. So that's it for me for now. Until next time, I'm Darren with Moving and Blender.